What's up, Patreon, and possibly YouTube in the future? Zachary Michaels here. I'm an actor, and this is An Actor Reacts. Today, we'll be reacting to Portuguese Love by Tina Marie. Let's get into it. Before we get started, I'd like to thank all my patrons for your support. And if you're somebody who's watching this video in the future on YouTube, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment below. And if you'd like to further support myself and the channel and gain access to some exclusive content and early reactions and reviews, the link to join my Patreon will be in the description box. Portuguese Love by Tina Marie was released in 1981 as the third single from her fourth studio album, It Must Be Magic. Like the majority of the project, Tina Marie both wrote and produced the track. The song was a moderate hit, reaching number 54 on the Black Singles chart, but has since gone on to become a Quiet Storm classic. All right, so Miss Tina Marie, Portuguese Love. Spoiler alert, I love this song. Uh, I already reacted to it. I did film the reaction first, and then I went back and wrote this little write-up. And now I love this song and appreciate it even more, learning that she both wrote and produced it. Like, I already loved it vocally from her, and just the feeling of the song, and now knowing that she did all of it herself, it's just like, damn, this woman was talented. Uh, but anyway, let's just get into the reactions. So many people requested me to uh, react to this song, and it did not disappoint. Hmm. Hey baby, how you doing? Starting off, man. Wow. It's really been a long time, you know? Hmm. Remember the drums. This sounds kind of familiar. I really like this cover art. Look like little hot mama. Love the way she's approaching the words. Shout out to the band. It's like very elegant and hard hitting at the same time. Like the strings, so elegant. And then the drummer and the rest of the band, like, <clears throat> I have heard this, or this part at least. I just never knew what it was called. Her voice. Love how it's kind of like salsa. Her voice is just so like the <laughs> like I love that. Of the background as well. Won't you say it to me, say it to me, say it to me. Won't you say it to me, say it to me. Yeah. 
so much soul in this one. Blue eyed soul. I don't think her eyes blue, but you know what I mean. Voice is kind of operatic too. Operatic soul. It's like a Walt Salsa. Shout out to the drummer. Amore Portuguese. Portuguese love that makes sense. Mm. What? Yes, that that's a sax. This came out of nowhere, and I love it. Turn into jazz. That Rick? That a whistle note back there? It's so smooth and sexy now. Love the what bongos? Gonna scat a little bit, mama. Quiet storm now. It don't matter. Is that Rick James with her? It don't matter. You know what I'm saying, baby? Ooh. Hey. Love everything that's going on in the background. I love that. Let's get into my final thoughts. Portuguese love. That was so immaculate. Another one from Miss Tina Marie. Loved it. it was pulled in the entire time. Um, one, I just like the, the, the journey of the song, like even with her starting off with the, you know, soft spoken words, I really love that. Cause I, 
in my head, that's generally the men who do that, you know, in those old bedroom songs they talk to you at the beginning. But I liked it was her starting off speaking here. And then at the end, we get her uh, coming back in talking, but we get who I think was Rick James. If it wasn't, my bad. But it sounded like Rick James and her going back and forth. And then he ends it with the I love you, baby, which she's been asking for this entire song. Um, but the, the, the rest of the song, really great too. That was just something that I noticed, but like the journey of the instrumental and all the different sound, like the kind of salsa parts. And, and then we get into the orchestral mixed with the, mixed with the like hard hitting, like kind of R&B and that mixed together so well. It was like a Walt salsa thing and it it felt so good and 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 that flowed into the um to that random section where it got really fast and upbeat not random because that sounds like a throwaway word like the really great section where it got really upbeat and kind of turned into like you know jazz music all discombobulated and a lot of stuff was going on and I was just like ooh, I like this I all oh, like it was like orgasmic that section and then we get into after that, it slows down real smooth to like kind of quiet storm music. And then that's when the Rick James or other person comes in and it just going back and forth. And she's like, ooh, her voice gets so smooth there. And I think I was hearing maybe whistle notes in the background. And then the end where it's like fading out and there's all these little instruments and accents just so good like beautiful the journey of this was amazing and then you have miss tina marie and her voice um that operatic soul i just love the way she approaches the words like the mm, like just really interesting the way she attacks the words on the song and the, the the how sensual she can be or how aggressive she can be and her voice is just like I don't even know how to describe it, but it's something very unique about her that that blue eyed soul, is something so special, that operatic soul that she has in her voice, really, really, really intriguing. Love the love the vocals of the instrumental, especially. Um, I feel like there was something else that I wanted to say. The vocals I really loved. Um, the instrumental, the talking. Oh, I, I have, I think, heard it before. Not the full thing, because there were a lot that I didn't recognize, but I've heard that chorus that like, say it to me, say it to me, say it to me. I feel like my mom was probably listening to this at some point in her life, and I heard parts of it. Um, but really, really loved hearing the full thing here. It just really catchy song, the instrumental, the vocals, the, the lyrics. And I get why it's called Portuguese Love, because she says, like, Amore Portuguese, that was terrible. But she says that in there at some point. I was like, oh, okay, I get it. But plus with the, like, the salsa-esque of the instrumental, it all it all makes sense. But really great song the vocals the 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 her pining for the love so the lyrical content her delivery the way she attacks words um and then especially especially the production and the instrumentation throughout shout out to the drummer and the entire band but especially the drummer he was really hard hitting and the strings and the orchestra the bongos and all the other accents and stuff at the end every single part of the song was so immaculate and you know back in the day when they had those seven minute songs you knew you was about to get a treat and this one did not disappoint um i think that's all i got for now miss tina marie did her thing I'm, I'm really loving all the things that I've reacted to from her. Um, shout out to Tina Marie. Rest in peace. Um, uh, that's all I got for now. Shout out to all my patrons. Thank you for your support. If you're watching this video in the future on YouTube and you want to see exclusive content and early reactions like this video, uh, the link to join my Patreon will be in the description. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment below, both on Patreon and YouTube. Uh, let me know your thoughts and recommendations for other Tina Marie content to get into. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to my channel and Patreon for more content like this. Thanks for stopping by. See y'all next time.